Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our second example of how to solve linear inequalities. And in this case, we have a decimal in there, 0.2x. So step number one, we need to eliminate that decimal. We can do so by, multi by multiplying both sides of inequality by the number 10. So we're going to multiply the left side and the right side by 10. Since it's a positive 10, we don't have to worry about flipping the inequality symbol on the left side. We end up with 2x, greater than or equal on the right side. We're going to distribute the 10 over both terms, so we end up with 10x plus 40. Now I see I have a 10x on the right side. I need to move that to the left side. When I cross that inequality symbol, that 10x becomes a negative 10x. So I have a 2x minus 10x is greater than or equal to 40. And so when we combine these like terms, minus 8x, is greater than or equal to 40. Now I need to divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of x, which is a negative 8. Divided by negative, well, that, real, that means that I have to flip the inequality symbol. So let's rewrite this. We have a negative 8x. We have a 40. I'm going to multiply the left side or divide the left side by negative 8. That means I'm going to divide the right side by negative 8 which means I have to flip the inequality symbol and it's now going to be less than or equal to instead of greater than or equal to. The negative 8's cancel out, I end up with x less than or equal to a negative 5. And so now this is the solution and I can also show you graphically what that looks like. We're going to have a solid circle on negative 5 because it includes negative 5 because we have an equal sign there as well as a, a less than sign. And it's less than negative 5, so everything to the left of that point, including the point. And that's how you then should graphically show that it's all values less than negative 5 or including negative 5 that satisfies the original inequality. If you want to make sure that this is correct, you can do a quick check. Let's pick the point x equals negative 10, which should be part of the solution. Let's plug it in here. So we have 0 0.2 multiplied times the negative 10. Is that greater than or equal to question mark negative 10 plus 4? So that's what it comes down to. Well, we've taken the original inequality and substituted one of the values that's in the range that supposedly solves that or satisfies that inequality. So we end up with negative 2 is that greater than or equal to negative 10 plus 4 is a negative 6 question mark and the answer is yes negative 2 is larger than negative 6 therefore it satisfies inequality and therefore we can say that the solution is correct and that's how it's done